We are in Sparkle Supermarket, which is located in Alveston Village under quarantine for another edition of Business Inspire GY. Esla, thank you for sparing some time to talk with us. Now, could you share the journey of moving from what could be considered a community shop to a spanking new supermarket, which is a beacon on the quarantine? Okay, thank you. It's a pleasure having you guys here. So, Sparkle Supermarket has actually started 23 years ago and uh, we've started with a 8 by 10 grocery shop and uh, we've started actually with $30,000 and I've actually started buying the basic items for the, super, for the shop uh, back then and I started to buy things like six bleach, half bag of sugar, things like that, I, that's how I started off. Uh, and with the help and support of my boyfriend back then, who is my now husband, he supported me back then and we have grown. And we moved from that eight by 10 shop, expanded into a bigger size shop, over the counter of course. And we keep on selling. I had big visions. I wanted to grow more, so I decided that I needed to expand and I expand by having help from my boyfriend as I said before who is my now husband and family members sometimes they would have given me and outs and I would take those and outs and I would invest those and and outs back into my business that's how my business become big and I had intentions in opening a supermarket because it was very cluttered and small over in the, in the shop. I decided now that I want a supermarket and it was like five years thinking about having a supermarket. I thought about it and I made it a reality. And today, here we are in a supermarket. I want to thank God, especially because many times I have conversation with myself, talking to myself and talking to myself about how I can grow and asking God for guidance. And I believe God helped me and here I am. Now Isla, many of us watched on Facebook as you unveiled this new supermarket. What was, this, what was it like for you? For me, it was both a happy feeling and emotional. Happy because I've actually completed the supermarket. Because while, when I was building the supermarket, it took me a year. I started with the foundation, then I stopped because of financial, re financial reasons. And when I completed the supermarket, I was so happy, very, very happy. And I was emotional because I thought that it was not gonna complete, it wasn't gonna happen, and it actually completed even faster than I thought. So it made me feel very, very happy. You're watching Business Inspire GY. Now, Isla, apart from providing a service to the community, what else has Sparkle been able to contribute to the development of Olverston and nearby communities? Okay, we at Sparkle Supermarket have created employment for people out there. When I had a shop before, it was just myself and family and maybe one team member or so. Now, we have employed five people on our team. And it meant a lot that I can actually create finance for these team members. They can they can able to come to work and feel comfortable and able to help their families out there. So that's what Sparkle has done for the community also. In life, everything requires balance. Now, Isla, how have you been able to manage motherhood, being a wife and a successful entrepreneur? Well, with a supportive husband, of course. He's always there for me. He's very patient. You know, sometimes I'm so angry with him. He has his own work, but still he supports me a lot with the supermarket. I have a supportive and a very wonderful trained team members, uh, 
they're all trained they treat their customers very well i also have my children who supports me so they understand with the home and with business they're always there for me so with the team the family and my kids and everything they support me Now, Isla, you have lived in Alveston all your life. You have raised your children here. You got married here. Now, some persons would have considered um, moving from Alveston to start their business. What has kept you here? Okay. In 2012, I've actually wanted to leave from having my small shop. I wanted to migrate and like go away. But I went for a vacation and when I went for vacation and I would have come back, I recognize, I recognize how quiet and lonely and boring the neighborhood was without a shop. So every time I think about leaving or closing down or not to run a, a business in Alverston, I think of my community, my neighborhood, everybody in the neighborhood and how the community would be quiet and dead. That's the reason I keep keep on being here and to run a business in, in Halverston is to uplift the neighborhood. As we continue to walk through uh, the Sparkle supermarket, Isla, what would you consider your greatest success since taking this leap of faith? What I would consist, consider my greatest success is actually accomplishing this supermarket as well as keeping my family together because at times it can be really challenging and frustrating and overwhelming and I would like to say thank God again because I've actually feel successful by accomplishing this big goal that I have set out as well as having my family together still. Is what are the challenges you would have encountered? Okay when I moved over from the shop to the supermarket, it was totally different. I could not have done the same things that I'm doing, that I was doing into the shop, in the supermarket. It become more challenging in terms of having more employees, understanding how the supermarket should run. And it was so challenging for me that I had a lot of questions. And for me to answer these questions, I needed to seek help. And uh, I had known about uh, a place called Action Coach, uh, and uh, I decided to check them out. Uh, I've known of them from 2017. I've known of Action Coach uh, since 2017, and I decided that I need to check them out, so I did. I had a lot of questions, and they actually answered some of them. For once, I, I always hear people saying things need to be systematic things need to be run by a system but i never really understood what that meant but going to action coach i actually understand what system meant you can actually type out the system for example if i have if i have a new employee i don't have to walk that employee through everything or a team member don't have to walk that employee through everything because we had sparkle supermarket now have systems in place they looked at the system they walk through the system by themselves they read the systems and we work along with that system so from moving from the shop to the supermarket i have had system in place and the system that i have had in place allow the supermarket to run smoothly there are days that I don't have to be here. The supermarket actually runs without me and I have to action coach to thank for that. Advice that I would like to give people who would like to start a small business or even a business per se, they should be patient because starting out to go to do your paperwork, it can be so stressful at times and you might want to give up before you even start. I'm saying to you all, be patient I said you need to be consistent even when you're in the business or you just started a business be consistent I'm saying be consistent because you might not see business flowing as the way you thought in your head it would flow don't just give up right there keep going don't just chuck in and leave and come back you have to stay one place 
in order for things to work. When I say stay one place, sometimes people start off doing business and they want to leave and say, oh, I'm going to migrate, man, because business is slow. I think you need to stay in order to see results. You need to be patient. One other thing I need to advise you when you're doing a business, you need to be disciplined. You want to start a business? You have young, you're young, you have young friends coming along telling you, oh, let's go out to have some fun. Remember, you already put aside X amount of finance that you want to start your business. Don't be distracted by your friends. So there's where discipline comes in. You need to be disciplined when you want to start a business. Um, it's a great opportunity in working here. Like, I choose to work here because um, my boss, she's a unique person. Yeah, she is encouraging, she gives a lot of advice, which I really love about it. Yeah. Oh, my experience here has been nothing but good. Sister Isa is a very big supporter of everybody working here. She's a motivator and she just makes the environment very comfortable for her staff. We have no complaints. Our staff, I mean, is very courteous, kind, and they are so unique. <laughs> and is the owner, Isla, oh, she's so beautiful. Now, Isla, where do you see um, Sparkle Supermarket in the next five years? Okay, in the next five years, we would like to expand in another branch we would like to do other businesses. We would, I would love to create more employment for people, so I want to do more businesses. And before the year is out, I'll be opening on the other side, a wholesale and retail depot, as well as by next year, mid next year, I'm supposed to be going up on the second story, and that would be a, a reception hall. And you can always rent it for board days, any event, an event hall. And in the next five years, I should be expanding in another branch. There's where we see ourselves. Okay, thank you very much, Isla, for speaking with us. And there we have it. We've come to the end of another edition of Business Inspire GY Magazine. I'm your host, Ivo Wharton. In our next episode of Business Inspire GY, Action Coach will provide guidance on how to propel your business. Some common mistakes as well uh, with business owners is, especially when they start off and they start getting their family involved, is that you know somehow everyone in the family now feels entitled that everything needs to be paid by the owner. Uh, the owner also sometimes thinks that you know everybody in the family needs to work in the business, and unfortunately, some business owners think that uh, food and shelter is enough payment mm -hmm. uh, for their own family members. And what then happens is that. Uh, some family members, they can't wait to get out of the business to get an actual job where they get actual money and they don't do much in the business.